Vancouver neighborhood is demanding action after raccoons launched two separate vicious attacks on pets and people in less than 24 hours. And a warning some viewers may find the details in this story disturbing. CTV's Michelle Brunaro has more. Hero. This little dog named Pingu is healing much better than expected after being ambushed by three raccoons last Friday while out for a walk on West First Avenue. All of a sudden, both of them just pounced and one of them grabbed a hold of him and started trying to sort of bite at his face and grab at him. The sidewalk is still marked with blood after a second raccoon started attacking Pingu's owner, Jake Moss, as he fought to save his dog's life. A third raccoon later joined in. I saw the jaws open and he went to bite my dog's neck and he, my, my dog, sort of reached back and tried to bite the raccoon in the face. And when he did that, the raccoon got his mouth around my dog's eye. Pingu would lose an eye in the prolonged attack, but is otherwise okay. Moss suffered wounds to his ankles and hands. This one, there's a little bit of possible nerve damage. I don't have like mobility or strength in a few of the fingers. It was the second attack by raccoons in the same area in less than 24 hours. Mark Harrison tried to help. For me, it was uh, a lot of trauma in, in one day and something again must be done about the raccoons in the area. Neighbors blame an area resident who they say has been feeding wildlife. They want the city and conservation officers to take action. We've contacted control, animal control, the three one, Vancouver 311, and have gotten very little um, response. Told by every level of government we spoke with from the city to the province that it's just not their issue. Provincial officials told CTV neighbors should contact the city. CTV reached out to the city but did not hear back. Meanwhile, neighbors are angry and scared and say something must be done before there's another attack. Michelle Brunoro, CTV News, Vancouver.